Hello, my learners. I welcome you once again to our virtual lesson. Today we have mathematics for basic five, and we are going to subtract. We are going to deal with fractions, and we are going to subtract fractions. And what we are going to do is to subtract subtraction of missed fractions. Subtraction of missed fractions. Now our objective for today is subtract fractions greater than one. Which is the same as missed or improper fractions. Missed or improper fraction. Very good. So since previously we learnt fraction, we learnt uh, addition of fractions, addition of missed fractions. So I want you to also add missed fraction for me. So take this as your starter. Add four whole number. One out of three. One out of eight. Sorry. Plus three whole number. 2 out of 8. Quickly. Good. So we can just see that our LCM is 8 since it's like fraction. Like fraction. The same denominator. So I will add the whole numbers, right? So 4 whole number plus 3 whole number will give me 7 whole number. Good. So since I have the same denominator, I will only add the new. So 1 plus 2 will give me 3. So my final answer will be 7 whole number 3 out of 8. Today, today's own is subtraction of fraction greater than 1. So instead of adding, now we are going to what? Subtract. We are going to subtract. So before we start this lesson, I want to get prepared. Get what prepared. Make sure that you take your book. Sit down comfortably and start to watch the video. Let me get someone to watch the video, the video and then also what? do it on your own. So let's start. It's the same thing, the same process that we're going to use. Now we are going to subtract, right? As examples, let's do less than one. Than one. Now, here we have the same denominator. We have the same denominator, which is what? Like fraction. Like fraction. So our LCM will be the what? The same denominator, so the LCM is 3. And then what are we going to do? We add the whole, and we subtract, sorry, we subtract, so we subtract the whole numbers. We subtract the whole numbers. So 4 minus 1, 4 take away 1. I will get 3, so 3 whole number. Therefore, I will just subtract the numerators, the numerators, because I'm having the same denominator, so I will subtract the numerator. Numerators. So 2 minus 1 will give me 1. Good. So what have we got? We've got a 3 whole number, 1 out of 3. 3 whole number, 1 out of 3. So this is our final, that is 3 whole number. 3 whole number, right? Very big. 1 out of 3. Good. Let's move to the second example. To the second example, example 2. That's 3 whole number, 2 out of 5, minus 1 whole number, 1 out of 3. This one, we are not having the same denominator. So it's unlike fraction. Unlike fraction, we have to find the LCM. We have to find the LCM. And I gave you some method that is what the prime factorization or division and multiplication. Division and multiplication. So we just find the LCM, which is the 5 and the 3. So the prime number that we can use to divide 5 and 3. Any of them, we can take 3 pairs. Then we divide 5 and it is like no. So we write the same 5 down. We can do divide 3, yes. So we 3 will divide 3 one time. So I'll write the one time like this. Now, which number can I use here? 5, right? 5 can also divide 5. How many times? 1 time. And can, can you divide 1? Since you can't divide 1, divide the 1 there. Since I have which 1 and 1, I've got 1 and 1. I'll finish with my what? My, my multiplication and division. Now, uh, division. So now, what left is what? To multiply. So we multiply this one. So 3 times 5 will give me. So 3 times 5, which is equal to 15. 
15. So what are you seeing? You can see that since I'm having prime numbers, I will just multiply the denominators. I will just multiply the denominators. You don't need to find the LCM. Since it's prime number, it's prime numbers, you can just multiply them. So when you multiply, what are you going to get? That is 15. 5 times 3, 15. Good. Now, the next thing I will do is to, what? to subtract the whole numbers. To subtract the whole, the whole number. So let's subtract. 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 gives me 2 whole numbers, right? Now, I have to use this one to divide this. And then use to multiply this. As we did for the addition. So 3 will divide 15. How many? Sorry, 5 will go into 15. How many times? 3 times. So 3 times the numerator, which is 3 times 2, gives me 6. Good. 3 was go into 15. I will divide 15 how many times? 5 times. 5 times the 1, the numerator here, will give me. That is 5. Subtraction, so we have a sign. So the next thing you have, you subtract. So the whole number, I still write the whole number down. So 6 minus 5 will give me 1 out of the denominator, which is 15. So this is my final answer. This is my final answer. Let's move to example 3 so that we clear any doubts that we have. So let's move to example 3. And do it quickly. Now what to be our S here? The fraction. Look at the fraction. This is the fraction. This is our whole number. What to be our S here for the fraction? So since I'm having here to be a prime number, I will just multiply. I will just multiply the denominator. So 8 times 5, 8 times 5, quickly, we give me 40, very good, so 40 is my LCM, 40 is my LCM. Now, since I have the LCM, I can now subtract the whole numbers, I can subtract the whole numbers, right? So 6 minus 5, 6 minus 5 gives me 1, that is 1 whole number, right? It's very big, 1 whole number. And now, what would I do? I will use the denominator to divide the what? The LCM. So, 8 will go into 40. How many times? 5 times. 5 times 3, which is 15. 5 will also divide 40. How many times? 5 will divide 40. 8 times. 8 times 1 is 8. Don't forget to bring your sign. That's the subtraction sign. Now I have one whole number, still one whole number. Now I'm going to subtract. 15 minus 8 will give me, look at me, 7. Then I'll write my denominator, which is 4t. Which is 4t. So my final answer is one whole number, 7 out of 4t. The last one to be the left to my end. Let's be complete. Let's find the else here. The LCM since I have one prime number here, there's no need for me to go and what? Find the LCM again. What I will do is to multiply the denominators. Multiply the what? The denominators. So let's do it. 4 times 5 will give me 20. So the 20 is now my LCM. Now, what will I do? I will subtract the whole numbers because of subtraction. So 3 minus 2 will give me 1 whole number. 4 will divide 20 how many times? 5 times. 5 times the numerator, which is 3, is 15. Very good. 5 will also divide 20 how many times? Which is 4. 4 times. 4 times 1 will give me 4. So my final answer is one whole number. 15 minus 4 is 11 out of the LCM that is 20 out of the denominator. So my final answer is one whole number, 11 out of 20. 11 out of 20. Try and include most of them yourself. Okay? What have you learned? To bring the lesson to an end, let's ask ourselves what have we learned today? We have learned how to subtract fractions. We 
creator than one. I want you to pay attention to this video and solve more examples on it. I love you all. Stay safe. Until we meet again, say goodbye.